What's up guys, Steve Cook. I'm coming to you guys from Utah. I have, I, I love Utah in the summertime. It's such a good place. Um, up here for some meetings and, and really excited to be doing a leg workout with my fellow Gymshark athlete, What's Whitney. Up? You, guys What's probably, good? you guys probably already know who she is. Nah, not yet. Whitney is kind <laughs> of like, she's kind of taking YouTube by storm. What's up? You're like at 600,000 followers no, almost. No, no, less than. Less than. Killing it. How do you feel about doing a leg workout today? I'm nervous. You should be. Yeah, I'm nervous about this big program. It's gonna be, um, it's gonna kick your, no, I'm just kidding. It won't be that bad. <laughs> it's, we're gonna do a lot of high volume stuff. So typically Saturday's my dynamic day, which we're gonna incorporate a little bit more plyometric type stuff, higher reps for sure. First, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, warming up. But is this your home gym? This is the home gym in Salt Lake City, Utah. This thing is, in, like, this place is amazing. It's litty. It gets lit. I'm, I'm taking this idea and I'm gonna like just jot down everything I like because eventually, now this is like 20,000, I wanna do like a 10,000 square foot version of this. This place is amazing. So, so thank you so much okay. for letting us film here. What's the name of it? Excel. Excel. Fitness. Shout out to Excel. Yeah. All right, we're jumping into it. Warm ups. <laughs> Trying to keep these knees pressed out over the toes. And as you guys get more advanced in this, you can throw like chains on the back to make it look like you're really hardcore. Actually, it's good to get some weight, force those hips, start opening those hips for today. 10 each side. Yo, check out Wit's cons too. Oh. You know she's serious <laughs> for leg day when she's got her cons on. Toe touch squats. Feet, shoulder width apart, reach down, touch the toes, and then what you're gonna do is pull yourself down, booty comes underneath, back stays nice and flat, chest nice and high, arms above the head, and just stand up. All the way down, we got 10 of these. All right, next up, prisoner squats. You guys haven't heard some of these names. I just came up with them right now. Just kidding. They're actual names. What we're gonna be doing here, hands behind the neck. We're forcing our elbows out. What that's gonna do, upper body posture, chest nice and big. Keep the abs tight like someone's punching you in the stomach. You wanna have those flex and just straight down, straight up. And these might just seem trivial, they might seem super easy, but the reason we're doing them is because it's really easy for us to want to start coming here. So we want to push our head back against our, against our hands, keep those elbows nice and wide, keep those knees out. Nice. Last thing. So typically in every workout, I like trying to get that central nervous system going, which involves some posterior chain. Sometimes it's a single arm dumbbell snatch, other times it's a kettlebell. Right now, we're doing knee, knee jumps. You ever done one of these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Here, let's go, I'm grabbing sure a Sure did, almost fell too. Knee jumps. Okay, wait, wait. All the way to the heels. We got Are five Are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Yep. Wait, do you flip your feet under? I think, or I think it's easier to go and push off, actually. 
Okay, that's really difficult. Is it? You got it though. Try Maybe it like that. Maybe in the converse. Try it like that. I oh, like no, it. No, it's more hard with your toes flat. It's harder with toes flat? Yeah. And really get violent with the arms. Down here. All right, we got back squats. First thing we're doing, back squats, 15 reps. Nice, we'll do one nice warm up and then we're going straight, five metrics, dumbbells. So we're just gonna work that explosion. Usually, typically in our workouts, we do either a plyometric or a Olympic lift type first, something that's gonna be really explosive. Again, firing that central nervous system, and then that with a compound movement. We're all about getting stronger, and then working on the ice, you know, the unilateral movements, and then also the isolation movements. So everything usually typically rolls like that. Today's no different. Supersets, so high reps. It's Saturday. Booty building Saturday. Can we call it that? Can we call that? Is that a good name? Thumbnails and titles. You're really good at those. Do you pick those out? Yeah, I just make them up. You do? Half the time they don't make sense. Booty building Saturday. Booty building glutes. glutes. Let's grow them. That's what the booty building glutes, let's grow them. That's our title <laughs> for this video. <laughs> we, got, we got 15 reps today. And we're trying to actually be quick quick out of the pocket today so nice and slow down and then we're exploding out high reps today 15 reps on the back squat straight into no rest do you do a lot of super set stuff yeah super all the time girls love the super love set it. stuff they like feeling like they're, like Courtney, I, 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 like she loves her circuits. I'm like, we gotta get you strong too. So that's where these compound movements, we're moving quickly, but we're still trying to be heavy for 15 reps. You know, that 15th rep should be hard. I don't want it to be easy, okay ladies? I know we're gonna get a lot of ladies watching this for wit. My girls, showing up. Do you, have, do you have a name for like? No, I don't. But just get fit with wit. We just get fit with wit. Get fit with we work wit. out today, we're working out with wit. I actually know another wit, and she started using that tagline. Oh, I how should you, talk to her. How do you feel? You, TM? We should have a little chit chat. Whitney Simmons TM. Yeah, TM. I need TM that. <laughs> Always good running into people that say hi. Ryan? Yes. That's my middle name. Stephen Ryan Cook. My mom used to yell it at me when she was angry. Uh, this is your kind of your baby in here. Yeah, this is yeah, my man. It's so fitness here. This place is phenomenal. Yeah. I want to open up something very similar. Probably, what's the, do you know the square footage on this? 61,000. 61,000? Yes. Yeah, okay, I can't do that big. Maybe 15,000. So we're just gonna need to shrink this thing. <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the gym. That's what we're gonna do. If you guys are too young to know that movie, we can't be friends. Um, Great to have you here, man. Thank you, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Hi, puppy. How you doing? Oh. Right off the bat, smacks you in the face. Woo! <sighs> round, round one, how was that? Too, too much. Too much for me. Woo. You got a minute 20? We're doing it again. All right, round two. 
We took 120 seconds in between. Oh, it got heavier. It got heavier. I hate high rep days. I'll take low reps any day. Oh. It's all downhill from here. You get through this, might throw up, but after this, it's easier. Kind of like your day after you hit the gym, hit a hard workout, the rest of the day, you can do anything. How you doing, fam? Yep, super good, super good, super good. So now we got dumbbell walking lunges. This gets a little easier, but not a ton. So we got dumbbell walking lunges with weight, trying to 290 degrees, 90 degrees in that front foot, 90 degrees in that back foot. As we come up, trying to explode off that front foot. Obviously we have weight, so it's not gonna be super quick, but we got three sets of 15, super set, which is alternating body weight jump lunges. Straight into the jumping lunges. So here, key is, is I want this getting over here. Try to keep that, pretend you're wearing a belt buckle. Belt buckle is not from Idaho. Just gotta go straight ahead. So I don't want it down, don't want it back. Thing, the thing I like about here, if you, we did a really quad dominant exercise superset. This is a little bit of quads, a little bit of hamstrings. More quads, obviously, but if, when you're stretching it out there and pressing through, the lower you are, the more of that glute and hamstring is going to come into play. So it's a nice little transition before we hit some hamstrings. Big though? Oh, like I would say a combination, a perfect combination like big and lean. And you know what? I think calling it big, girls hear the word big and they're like, nah, I don't want to touch it. A girl did prep for her, her first competition actually. Um, in bikini, it could have been figure doing this program. So what we do is we, we do everyone's diets. And depending on your diet, you know, you can lose weight on big as well. It's just we're lifting more for strength, whereas when we switch it up to lean, a little bit higher reps, believe it or not, it's our high rep day for the big program, but a little bit higher reps, a little rest, less rest on, and then a little bit longer workouts. 
more cardio as well. So all the things you hate. We have an injured vanilla gorilla. We're helping nurse him back to health. I've actually been bottle feeding him the last two days. Um, he's a little bit angry. You know how gorillas are when they get hurt. They get a little bit cornered. So we're just gonna slowly approach him. 